His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree No. 92 of 2024 appointing a Deputy Chief Executive Officer at the Information and E-Government Authority, the IGA, based on the proposal of the Minister of Interior and following the approval of the Cabinet. Ali Abdelaziz and Mohamed Janahi shall be appointed as Deputy Chief Executive Officer of Electronic Transformation at the Information and E-Government Authority, replacing Dr. Zakaria Ahmed Al Khaja. The chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Education Charitable Trust and chairman of the Board of Directors of Temkin, Zahana Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the UK Embassy's celebration commemorating the birthday of His Majesty King Charles III of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. His Highness affirmed the long standing relations between Bahrain and the UK, which have spanned over 200 years, have acknowledged the ongoing advancement of these ties. He emphasized the shared commitment to strengthening multi-sectoral collaboration to fulfill the aspirations of both kingdoms and their people. His Highness conveyed the greetings and congratulations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to His Majesty King Charles III, extending their wishes for continued progress and prosperity for UK and its people. His Highness also expressed his own greetings and best wishes to His Majesty King Charles III. He highlighted the deep-rooted relations between the two royal families, noting that the bilateral partnership continues to solidify across various sectors. Several senior officials were also present at the event. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Education Charitable Trust and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Labour Fund Temkin is Anish Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa launched Bahrain's first of its kind executive leadership training initiative designed to provide world-class opportunities for Bahraini talent through strategic partnerships between Temkin and globally renowned training institutions. His Highness highlighted the skills and capabilities of Bahraini workforce which continues to drive successes, excellence and economic growth across various sectors in alignment with the kingdom's aspirations. His Highness emphasized the importance of continuing to invest in Bahraini talent through comprehensive training and development programs to enhance their competitiveness. These initiatives aim to position Bahrainis as the first and preferred choice in the labor market while contributing to the kingdom's overall development under the leadership of His Majesty the King and the guidance of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. The programs aim to train Bahraini executives, equipping them with leadership skills to drive change and create impact within their organizations. Key collaborators including Harvard Business Corporate Learning, NCED, HEC, Paris and Bahrain-based EMIC Institute. 
Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali bin Saleh al-Saleh, inaugurated the second local libraries book fair organized by Al-Ayyam Publishing and Printing, running from November the 21st to the 30th. He commended Bahrain's cultural and literary sector under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa and the support of by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa. Al-Saleh highlighted Bahrain's cultural movement enriched by events and initiatives promoting reading and science scientific explorations as key contributors to social development. He also lauded the efforts of institutions, civil society organizations and the community in fostering cultural activities, supporting literature, culture and science and enhancing national libraries and research. Asala hailed al Ayam Publishing and Printing for organizing the fair for the second year and recognized its role in highlighting the contributions of over 22 Bahraini libraries and publishing houses. Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa inaugurated the first project of the new generation of residential buildings in Medina Salman in the presence of the President of the Survey and Land Registration Bureau, Engineer Abbas Al Hamar, the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna Ramehi, and a number of officials. The Deputy Premier affirmed that the support the social housing sector receives from His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister is an impetus to develop housing services to accelerate providing adequate adequate housing for citizens. He pointed out that since the government adopted the principle of diversifying the housing options available to citizens, vertical housing projects have added a developed housing pattern in accordance with the latest quality standards and approved technical specifications. During the inspection of the project, the Deputy Prime Minister expressed admiration for the qualitative leap achieved by the Ministry of Housing in implementing the project. He thanked the Abu Dhabi Fund for Development for financing this 130 32 million Bahraini dinars project, which is part of the Gulf Development Program project. He also praised the efforts of the Minister of Housing and all those who worked on the project, which reflects the approach of developing current future housing projects and programs to meet the aspirations of citizens. For her part, Sarimehe thanked His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for the housing achievements made during His Majesty's era, which is a key driver for increasing efforts to meet the aspirations of citizens. She commended Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah's inauguration of the project and appreciated the support the ministry receives from the Ministerial Committee for Development Projects and Infrastructure, headed by the Deputy Premier and its role in following up developing and improving housing services. Minister of Oil and Environment and Special Envoy for Climate Affairs, Dr. Mohammed bin Mbarak bin Daina, delivered Bahrain's speech at the high-level session held on the sidelines of the 29th United Nations Conference of the Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change COP29 in Baku, Azerbaijan. The minister affirmed that climate change is a global challenge that requires concerted international efforts and cooperation based on the commitment of developed countries to take the lead in leading climate action. He emphasized the Bahrain's firm commitment to its pledges under the Paris Climate Change Agreement, stressing the Kingdom's readiness to share its experience and expertise in this field to enhance international cooperation and achieve common climate goals.
Minister of Youth Affairs Rawan Bint Najib Tawfiqi participated as a keynote speaker at the MISC Global Forum, which was held in Riyadh under the title, The Future is in Your Hands 2024. In her speech, Tawfiqi stressed that Bahrain has taken a proactive approach to the future of youth action in the kingdom. She said that the kingdom's youth empowerment strategy is based on five main pillars. She stressed that Bahrain has witnessed a major shift in the policies governing the work of youth organizations over the past five years, which reflects the needs and aspirations of youth and enhancing their participation in future-making processes. The minister also referred to the Hadith Initiative the, that was launched last year in the framework that brings together a group of young people, explaining that a number of ideas and proposals were collected and implemented. The consort of His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Education Charitable Trust and Chairman of the Board of Directors of Temkin, Her Highness Sheikh Jawahar bin Abdullah bin Isa Al Khalifa, attended the second edition of the Hospital School Students Art Exhibition Alimni 2, organized by the Bahrain Trust Foundation. Her Highness recognized the unwavering support of the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Her Royal Highness Princess Abiy. Bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa for ensuring educational opportunities for all Bahrainis, regardless of their circumstances. Her Highness commended the creativity and talent of Bahraini students, which further the kingdom's art sector. Her Highness underscored the significance of the exhibition in nurturing the artistic potential of young Bahraini students, enriching their knowledge and fostering their creativity and competitiveness. She expressed her pride in the quality of artworks and such exhibitions in Bahrain. Her Highness emphasized the importance of continuing these initiatives which inspire generations of creativity and provide a platform for young talent to flourish. The exhibition showcased a diverse collection of artistic portraits and creations by young students from hospital schools who, despite their health challenges, demonstrated exceptional talent through their distinctive artistic paintings. The exhibition also featured specialized training workshops for students. This exhibition aligns with the Bahrain Trust Foundation Foundation's mission to provide integrated therapeutic and educational services for students in hospital schools. For her part, the chairwoman of the Bahrain Trust Foundation, Dr. Fatma al Blushi, highlighted the exhibition's role in enhancing the educational experiences of the hospital school students and empowering them with the skills and talent needed to excel creatively. She noted that the initiative aligns with the foundation's vision for the hospital micro school project aimed at creating an integrated and supportive educational environment for children facing health challenges. The Spring of Culture Festival will return next year with a season of experiences and events full of arts and originality as its program was announced during a press conference at the Bahrain National Theater in the presence of President of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, BACA, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa and the CEO of Beyond Adana Amphitheater, Damien Bush, in addition to a number of officials. The BACA president said that the festival celebrates Bahrain not only as a location that attracts the best artistic and musical experiences but also as a destination that brings people together with heritage through various events that include tours that explore history, archaeological sites and ancient site cities in Bahrain. Beyond the Dana Amphitheater CEO said that the success of the festival in previous years is due to the support and patronage it has received from public and private sector organizations and the partnerships formed between different local bodies which aim to support Bahrain's position as a leading center that reflects distinguished Bahraini talent and prominent culture, intellectual and artistic personalities. Culture returns in 2025 with a program that's diverse, uh, whether it be at the National Theatre or Beyond Adana Amphitheatre or the various sites around Bahrain. It is an opportunity for the public to engage with these sites and these performances and shows. In addition to 
enhancing our collaboration with a number of embassies here in Bahrain that are presenting to the public performances and activations, presenting their cultures to the locals here. In a remarkable security accomplishment, the Interior Ministry won first place in the Arab world for the best operational information field cooperation that led to the arrest of drug trafficking networks. This accomplishment was among the categories of the annual award of the General Secretariat of the Arab Interior Ministers' Council. The award was presented during a conference held for member countries' heads of anti-drug authorities. The Director General of Criminal Investigation and Forensic Science asserted the support of the Minister of Interior to the operation operations of the anti-drug committee were behind the accomplishment. He hailed the follow-up of the chief of public security to develop a training system for the security workforce. He noted that the accomplishment was part of the directorate's efforts to fight illicit drugs and their risks to the community. Bahrain International Circuit BIC announced that it has been awarded the FF, the FIAS Three Star Inter-Environmental Accreditation Award, the highest level of award for recognizing the environmental performance of circuits. The FIA's Environmental Certification Program aims to help motorsport organizations measure and enhance their environmental performance. The Three Star Accreditation, divided into three levels, is awarded to circuits that demonstrate best practice commitment and strive for continuous improvement through the implementation of an environmental management system. The award follows a detailed application and audit process where BIC was assessed across several areas including a commitment to environmental management, auditing and measurements across areas including energy, water, waste, management, transport, logistics, biodiversity and carbon emissions.